Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to your Monday evening with me. My name is Keen, and this is Candy Keen Gaming. So, hope that music isn't too loud in the background. I just thought we'd throw some royalty-free Final Fantasy music in, which I actually hope is royalty-free, and I don't get taken down for this. I've seen people use music from video games before. I think it's okay. I mean, if you have lyrics in it, then I suppose you could say it's probably copyright, but... We're, I think we're safe with this. Anyway, I hope you're all doing okay. Um, had a little small stream because I, I, I keep reiterating, I won't be free this Friday. <laughs> I won't be around. So we had a, another stream yesterday evening where we played some Tekken, played some Overboard, and it was just a nice chill time. Uh, but we're back to our new game Monday where we're having a look at a brand new game. And by brand new, I mean it was released in like 1999. Let's have a look at this disc. I cannot read that. <laughs> anyway, we're going to be looking at uh, 007 Tomorrow Never Dies on PlayStation 1. Now, people are like, oh, but GoldenEye is the best game ever. Well, I don't own a Nintendo. This is a PlayStation channel. What are you, what are you talking about? Who's opening the door? Titan! I'm trying to record in here. Are you, are you joking me? Are you, you want to come in now? I need to lock that door, man. Hey, come in. Don't trip. Oh. Up you get. Up you get for everyone to everyone to see. Amazing. Amazing. You can see what a state my room is. All right. Let's 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 fix that. Let's fix that. That wasn't meant to happen. He just thinks he can barge in. He heard me stream. He was like, "Oh my god, Candy King Gaming. I get to see him for real." So there we go. There we go. Are you all right there, buddy? Are you all right there? I have a sock. I'll put the sock on his nose. No. There we go. There's. There's. There we go. No, he's, he's a good chap. Get your anus away from my discs. Incredible. Incredible. Not ruining my life, but ruining the literal live stream. But hey, how are we all doing today? <laughs> Titan's a good boy. He, he's been around. He's been around from the start. Um. Just read. Just uh, waiting for a few more people to jump in. And I bet you, I look, look at him. Look, I oh, can't see him there. But he's on the bed, and I bet you, I bet you money, he's gonna want to leave now in a few minutes. Okay, we'll just fix this. He's knocked everything out and everything the way I wanted it. That's fine. That's fine. Actually, uh, good question. Where did I put that disc? <laughs> I'm so only seeing well. It's tight. Oh my god, you're not sitting on it. Scooch. Scooch. Scooch, good boy. Oh, he's literally ruining my life. No, no, the disc is in here. We are having a look at... Tomorrow Never Dies. Created by Black Ops Entertainment and produced by EA back when they were at Electronic Arts. Not, hey, give me all your money. I hope we're all doing tonight anyway. Uh, I have a few things planned for the channel. Do you want to see what I did? Do you want to, do you want to see the new, the new thing? Let's have a look. Right, look at this. Where's my foot? Why are my buttons not working? Uh, what did you think of that really badly cropped? Um, sorry, I just lost control of everything. What do you think of that really badly cropped uh, background? Let's just make that a little bit bigger. Brand new logo. I just thought we're we're kind of expanding the old logo that I had down the bottom. I will need to fix that, but uh, hmm. these are crunchy. I will need to fix that, but um, I just thought, while we're expanding, why don't we make a few new adjustments and throw some nice new things in? Is 
and have a few good cans while we're at. Just checking one or two things before we kick into this. I think I set this up as just chatting, but let me just uh, jump onto the old Twitch there, and we'll change it. See, what I like about Twitch is that I kind of get to do my own unique, unique, not my own unique thing, but um, we get to look at like games that are a bit kind of underappreciated, or maybe just didn't see as much uh, as much exposure. I don't know how you call it. Now, I was a good few people online tonight. Um, think you know Mosh is on, three viewers. We might raid that channel once we're done. Pick up a few new people on the way. It'll be good for us, it'll be good for you. Here we go, here we go, he wants to leave. No, 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 stay, stay. Why miss the stream, Titan? Why would you want to leave? Oh boy. Do you know what he loves? He actually loves these little pea snacks. So, uh, do your thing. Do your thing. Come on. Do it for nice people. He does this all the time, I swear. Come on. <gasps> Can... There's his thing. Isn't he the cutest dog? Good boy. Look at that. You get dog tricks and everything. So, uh, we're just going to change this over here. So much crunch, it's great. Double O seven. tomorrow never dies. Mm -hmm. I'll be with you in a second, Bucko. Yeah, he wants to get out of here. Bear me one second. Hello, I am. I have returned. And cookie. Uh, yes, uh, we're just setting everything up now. Um, my dog was in the room. He wanted to come up on the bed, and then he wanted to leave. So instead of him pestering me all night, I said I'd just get rid of him. You know. No, that's that's too dark. Right. So we're having a look. If you just joined us, we're having a look at some goddamn James Bond. I'll tell you something about James Bond. Right. I am a total simp when it comes to like the Pierce Brosnan James movies <laughs> Pierce Brosnan and James Bond films um, I remember going to see Tomorrow Never Dies in the cinema and I was 5 because it came out in 97 about 5 years old and then I played the game which actually released I think about 2 years later but uh, we're going to kick into it now let's just uh, move on to the brand new screen here with the brand new flashy logo if you haven't seen it already And, uh, yeah. Bear me two seconds. Hope you're enjoying the music as well. Oh, I really hope my, ba my, my mouse might be running out of batteries. That's probably why I'm uh, running a little bit slow. Crap. Do you know what I just noticed? I just realized something. I think I'm gonna have to just recalibrate my controller again, but that's fine. That's that's no problem whatsoever. Uh, let us get rid of the background. No. Nope. So this is the game adapt adaptation of 007. Tomorrow never dies. Now there should be sound coming out. Oh. Yeah, the sound. 
Cult did not. That didn't just blow your speakers. Tommy Tallarico Studio. Tommy Tallarico. Right. So we did Wild Nine um, back when I was still doing stuff on the YouTube channel, and that Tommy Tallarico Studios just became so iconic. Ah, Papa Nog. Hey, how are you doing? We got two marks in the channel now. Mark, 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 and Mark. Uh, yes, thank you so much for the new channel art. Uh, or for, yeah, I did it today. I was just, I was like, we need to, we need to change it a little bit. Just the, the old art. What, when did I make that? Like 2016. So it just needed a bit of a, a bit of a brush up, you know. Right. So this has one of the best opening for a James Bond game ever. Let's crank that shit. Vehicle section, we can play Asian waifu. Some really crappy stealth mechanics as well. But I remember going to see this in the cinema in like 97 and just my little five year old mind just pull over the way. Absolutely incredible. Like, it's not the best Bond game, but it's up there. It has great original music. Um, you know, it clips from the film as well, which, you know, you would have had to buy a video back then. Okay. Uh, excuse me. Let me calibrate this real quick, and uh, we'll just jump into it. God damn, do you know what? I actually have to just set this up real quick. It's last night. If you missed last night's stream, I was actually... Uh, where? We've gone wrong. We've gone wrong. So on last night's stream, we uh, were basically trying to get my controller to work. And we got it working until it ran out of batteries. And then today, I've been downloading, um, uh, what do you call it, drivers to get it to work Bluetooth style. And just, I was having no luck whatsoever. I watched like a million YouTube tutorials and it just wasn't happen having it. So it's something I would like to get done. But um, it's going to just take another little while. But once once we get it done, you know, it's not a problem. Let's just throw some tunes on for a sec. Just while I get this sorted. I need to save. I need to, like, just literally save these. Yeah, PC Master Race, right? But uh, watching Blue Tricks today, he was having a bit of trouble with his controller while playing Watch Dogs. So I'm luckily I'm not the only person suffering through it today. Okay, that's that's all sorted out there. Sorry about the wait there, guys. I really do. Um, thank you so much for hanging on. Also, I want to give a shout out to my granddad today. He's like seventy fucking years of age today. That's incredible. For me to be like 28 and having a grandfather who's like 70, that's just so lucky. Um, right, we're good, we're good. Watch this. Uh, oh no, we're getting another demo, but do you know what? With save states, we can literally just say, save in the menu. I mean, what? So, let me just get into, uh, into my gaming mojo here. Agent or double seven. You know this game is actually hard as balls, so we're gonna go uh, just just normal agent, and we start off in Russia. I think there's like a fake Judy Dench in voice, but we'll, we'll have a listen. Like a good agent will get our briefing and then go. Double O seven satellite reconnaissance has located a military outpost on the Russian border. MI6 intelligence has confirmed that they are using a high-powered communications dish to illegally decode the positions of our GPS satellites. Your first job Can everyone hear that okay? Uh, if you want me to turn up or turn it down, just let me know. Remember to keep a safe distance from the target. We can't afford to lose you, 007. Sorry, I'm just eating these like crunchy pea snacks from the tail at Aldi and so good. Now, when they said we can't afford to lose you 007, 
They never said that in Goldeneye, Rogue Agent. I'll tell you that much. What a crap game that was. Like, no matter... Like, this isn't even bad, but it's like... It's not... It's not Goldeneye, Rogue Agent bad. It's basically just a Metal Gear Solid wannabe. Our very David Hasselhoff looking uh, James Bond. So, this has a live system up there, you know, uh, held the whole lot. Got kind of our, it's it's very Metal Gear Solid, like when, when I actually think about it. We can crouch, uh, we can strafe left and right, that's cool. Uh, and then first person mode. And then also we can press square to use our items. And then uh, circle is like just gonna lock on and X is shoot. But I think if we just crouch, Mark, you'll be my guinea pig. I call that the filthy habit, because in at the start of the Tomorrow Never Dies, he just goes up behind a guy and punches him, and he's like, but he's trying to light a cigarette, he's like, filthy habit. Oh, we can also just roll around, which is cool. And unfortunately, there's no way of getting past this without getting caught, so... Oh, sh wait, well, we're being shot already. I'm telling you what, that's why I mean this game is literally hard as balls. Now, our Walter PPK, I believe? Is it the PPK? PK7. Shit. I'm sorry, James Bond. I have failed you. Right, well, uh, got an assault rifle. Come on, blow up, blow up. There you go, yeah. There's like a, a really generous auto aim as well, which is cool. Uh, the, 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 the circle open. But we've got a live system. If you die, you have to start the level from the start, which is which is okay. I can live with that. Right, let's waste this dude. Hello. <laughs> Sniper rifle. Look. Oh. I mean, this gun has a silencer, but like it does literally back all to. Uh, It's a very Splinter Cell kind of game as well. Not, um, sorry. Sorry for the, this prick see me. Fuck, can we zoom in? Sorry, I'm just, uh, we can, but it's so awkward to do so. Like, I'm literally just pixel, <laughs> like, going up pixels here. Hello to everyone's joined so far. We're, we're playing James Bond, if you can tell from, uh, the iconic theme song. That's the one thing. I am such a Bond nerd, like, uh, Apart from, like, um, The Living Daylights, which I believe had Timothy Dalton in it, I wasn't, like, you know, Roger Moore, Sean Connery, whatever. Like, I wasn't really a big fan of those because they were, like, the old guy Bonds. But Pierce Brosnan was just, and is, the best Bond. I'm open to comments about how, I, you know, how I'm wrong, blah, 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 but I believe I'm correct. Daniel Craig's good too, just the stunts man, cars, gadgets. Oh, I love James Bond so fucking much. Ah, right. Kind of just shooting pellets at these lads, but let's uh. They're not really generous with the ammo, but I think there are like big ammo pickups we can get later on. Sorry, I got shot. Oh, he teaches up. And, uh, and this has like, right. You're gonna say like, oh, Keen loves the what the Asian waifu, yeah, 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 whatever. But this game has one of the most underrated Bond girls, and it's a shame. So, my tier of Bond girls goes um, like in the Pierce Brosnan, um, in the Pierce Brosnan Bond movies, right? So, Natalia, uh, whatever her name is, um, from Goldeneye, right? She is top tier. James Bond waifu material and then after that Paris Carver who's in this game or this movie and she is just oh, have you seen her like have you actually wait I mean she looks incredible pixelation form let alone um let alone movie form where she's gorgeous I, and I'm I'm not afraid to say it I'm not afraid to say it even though they're all in their 50s and then we have Electric King right now, Electric King 
would be a number one spot if the other <laughs> if the other two women weren't there. And then uh, then Waylin, obviously, you just gotta you know gotta diversify things. I mean, it's actually so hard to rank them because like you've got Halle Berry in there as well in in um, Die Another Day. And have you seen Halle Berry? Like she was Catwoman, not a very good Catwoman, but she was still Catwoman. Like, someone in Hollywood said. Yeah, she cat woman. She cat woman is fuck. I'm sorry, my misogyny does not let me like rank the Bond girls in the order that I want to. No, I'll tell you what. All Bond girls are equal. All Bond, all of them are. I'm not gonna get cancelled for this. I, I feel like it's very cancelling conversation I'm having with myself here. No, no, it's the children who are wrong. Um, now, this guy is giving me a bit of grief. Can I just snipe him here with a pistol? I can. But I'll tell you who is incredible, alright? And I'm going away with my girlfriends this weekend, and I'm... Swear to God, I am so looking forward to it. It's just going to be me and her away for the weekend... I am gonna be so happy and it's just I, I missed her so much like I, I swear to god lads like I'm getting emotional over it as well it's just it's, it's been so long because it's fucking lockdown I think in 2021 we need to have less Homer Simpsons and also less um, le yeah less Homer Simpsons and less lockdowns do I have a favourite Bond villain? Right, okay. So. Oh boy, now we're getting into it. Now we're getting into it. Because there's so many classic Bond villains. Um, I like how the emulator has like really messed up that screen. But anyway. I do like... Um, what was Mads Mikkels Mad Mikkelsen's character? Uh, do you know what? I actually... I probably would like him more if I knew his name. Um, the guy who could cry blood, he was cool. My favourite Bond villain of all time. Do you know what? Now that I'm put on the spot, it's actually... I'm going to say... I'm going to say Electric King as well. Right, so Electric King up there is up there with... Um, Janice from Goldeneye, because, like, Sean Bean, obviously, how can you not love Sean Bean? But, there's one scene, right, where uh, they've, they've kidnapped M, and this is in The World Is Not Enough, and they've kidnapped M, and M turns around to Electra, and she she's like, oh, what's the time? And the Electra picks up this tiny little clock, and just puts it on a stool and says, time for you to die. And I was just like, that just what that one liner is incredible, absolutely Oscar performance. But Electric King, I swear to God, I simp so hard. Like, oh, she's like fifty now. She looks incredible. She's like French or something, and it's just like, oh my goodness, oh dear. Right, so I'm actually taking a bait in here. We can blow the hell out of these. So we're just at our first objective now. Do you have favourite Bond films? What are your favourite Bond movies if you like Bond movies? Oh, Willem Dafoe's character in uh, Everything and Nothing was quite cool. Obviously, Willem Dafoe is great. But in that game, he was James Bond's Dafoe. If you know what I mean. Right. Take down those guys. Now we got to pull out our, and this took me ages. It's like a laser D. I right, get designated and, uh, or one to use. Keep the target painted. Right, so now we're gonna get swamped by bad guys. So let's just pick up this health pack. I'm gonna, I'm actually gonna pick more ammo as well. Shit, I didn't realize how much crap I could talk about uh, James Bond. 
Right, so these lads are going to come swinging down and we'll just have to take them out. Really. Uh, yeah, do you know what? Casino Royale is, is a great movie, especially when um, when it was rebooted as well. I was like, hey, what's going on? Is this a whole this is a whole new Bond? And it was, uh, it was really interesting because it kind of played into that idea that James Bond isn't just one person. Like anyone with the code with the code name uh, 007 is James Bond. All right, we got this excess card. Um, my keyboard's feeling a bit weird. I might be running out of batteries. And yeah, I have actually played. Uh, I got it from Russia with Love on PS2 back in 2005 uh, for Christmas. And I, I thought it was really, really good. I'd never seen the movie. I still, to this day, I have not seen that movie, but I thought it was real good. And it was just a shame about, uh, you know, Sean Connery about being like a total advocate for woman beating. And I was like, uh, I cannot support this. Hang on. Right, just making sure everything's all right. So we're on the skis now with the most amazing rolling animation. SSX Tricky has nothing on this. Nothing. Look at this. Wrecking lads. Ugh. It is so difficult. It is so difficult to control this. We can just kind of poke them and we can sh kind of shove them as well. But it doesn't do anything. Uh, in The World Is Not Enough on PS1, which I will have a look at at some point. Um, there's a skiing section as well. But the funny thing is it's first person. You can see Bond sleeve and he's clearly wearing a tuxedo. Unreal. Only thing is <laughs> lead them into the trees. Uh, get those med packs. Get that med pack. Yeah. But not bad for PS1, like. Honestly, not bad. And this is only the first mission. Like, they paced it so well. I mean, I know it's uh, it's not an original Bond movie. Oh, 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 shit, shit, shit. Ah! There's a way to do, like, some bomb-ass moves. Shit, go away, go away. I think you have one more, one more killer jump. Yes, yeah, right, 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 right. What do we do? What do we do? Backflip? Yes! Ah! Oh, oh, did you see that? Double backflip! That was so unnecessary, but so fucking cool! Right, front flip, front flip! Ah, oh, no! Bond, what are you doing? He has this pathetic little... Oh. Ugh. Come on. We're, we're nearly there, we're nearly there. Pure class, pure class. I can't really approve of the parachute though. I mean, it's a bit, it's a bit Tory for my liking. Fucking Tory guns. But as the opening mission to Tomorrow Never Dies. Not too bad. Get style points, get score points. I'm not really sure how the style points work. I think it ties into how much health you have left at the end of the level, but... No. This level is really bizarre. <laughs> Get it? Because it's called the Arms Bazaar. It's like having some bizarre arms. Let's listen. Good job on destroying the dish. Your drop zone should be just outside a terrorist arms bazaar on the Russian border. Five days ago, a reconnaissance team deployed several remote video cameras, but they've stopped transmitting due to the severe cold. We believe a major transaction is happening soon, possibly involving the exchange of stolen weapons. You must infiltrate the bazaar and photograph the weapons. Check your cell phone's objective screen for more details. 
so this is where the actual movie starts off. And it's real funny because it's like literally a shopping center for um, like for terrorists and <laughs> buying weapons and stuff. And there's one um, MI5 guy. Sorry, MI6. The guy who's there, he's like, oh, fun for all the family. And I was like, it would be fun for all the family. Like, Right, okay, we're kind of dying here. Uh... Oh, and camera, and say cheese. Now, this got me... This, I remember playing this for the first time. This got me so stuck. You actually need to get the bombs and plant them here. And once we do that, we can blow the wall. Bob's your uncle. Now, we can only take three med kits at one time, so. Gonna have to be a bit liberal with the med kits, but we're, we're doing okay. We're doing okay. Can I get around that way? No. <laughs> shimmy, shimmy, shimmy. It's gonna break it down, yeah. And uh, one more little fo photograph should do the trick. White Knight, the British Navy has just launched a Tomahawk cruise missile. To so they just say, the get your guy out of he there, or he's going to suffer. I just need a little more time. Oh, my God. For anyone who wants to know how I smell, uh, we're a little bottles of jupe every once in a while. Just maybe I'll spray a little bit on there. Guy smells bad. Oh yeah, gotta love it. I do it for me. It's a, it's a kind of totally me thing. What you think of the transitions as well? Like I mean, they're pretty pretty not snazzy. Um, more of these bastards here. Death to the terrorists. White Rook, we have a problem. That jet is armed with Soviet SB-5 nuclear warheads. If the incoming cruise missile detonates... Soviet SpongeBob missiles? Have a what? Nuclear disaster. The Tomahawk is out of range. We cannot afford the missile. Repeat, we cannot afford the missile. Get out of there so, now. I have to evacuate... Like that's a nuclear... Jet. Like, I mean, Russia has had its fair share of nuclear disasters. Can they not just take one more for the team? Like, no, that's, that's me, right? So we need to get the hell... We have two minutes to get the hell out of here. Take down as many guys as you can. Get that uh, armor. But this game gets seriously difficult later on. Um, and we will also just take that life as well. Get a nice little sound boy, the James Bond, the lovely James Bond song. Right. Get on that, get on that. There's one more guy who shows up. So, there he is. Got to kill him up and he'll show up and he'll give us the key. I just remember all this. I haven't played this game in ages, but I just... just You just remember. You never forget. You never forget. Not too bad. Not too bad. Just climb the board, which is the hardest thing to do ever. Come on, Bond, please. Just... Maybe we have a bit of fun here. Way to yes, that flagpole is good, and it's really unfortunate. And this is what the game's all about flying jets and killing lads. Amazing, absolutely amazing. Don't know why it does that spin around again, but. Wait, there's nobody in the plane. But yeah, like, two levels in. And, and this is on PS1, like, well before PlayStation 2 comes out. And you've just been throwing all this stuff first thing. It's great. It's really, really good. We got little sound bits from the building as well.
Kyle Pierce. And now the man, of course. Now, the thing about this scene is that it is actually heavily edited out. There is a part where there's a, a pilot in the back, or a co pilot in the backseat, tries to strangle Bond, and then Bond just ejects him through. No, ejects him through the plane, upside down into another plane, and the other plane explodes. Incredible. I wouldn't really imagine, like, I, I, I can imagine something like Donald Trump doing that. Well, actually, wait, did he actually try and do that <laughs> a couple of months ago? So, this next mission is a little bit later into the film. J um, they suspect this guy, Elliot Carver, of being up to, up to no good. So, they send Bond in as an uh, undercover agent, because that's his job. Last night, the British naval vessel Devonshire was sunk in the South China Sea. We believe Elliot Carver may have played a part, since his newspaper Tomorrow printed the story before our intelligence team had received a full report. Carver is hosting a large party tonight, and will be busy broadcasting the launch of his global satellite network. His wife, Paris, might have some knowledge of his dealings. Perhaps you can pump her for information? Depends on how much pumping is required, eh? Do you know what? I never put this up on Instagram. Wait, live now on Twitch. This is your Monday night. I'll be right with you, boyos. Uh, Twitch.tv slash Candy King Gaming. Look at that funky music. They really didn't get Pierce Brosnan's likeness at all, did they? No, like the followers roll in. So, look, the idea is to be stealthy, but is that really going to happen here? I think we'd be stealthy with the first enemy, and then we just go in and just start popping heads. Oh no, no, hang on, hang on, hang on. Can we, there we go. Nice little knock him in the back of the head. Let's see how stealthy we can be before we inevitably get caught. Right, okay, hang on. Oh, yeah. Not that stealthy. SMG. Heavy armor. Cool, cool, cool. What were they doing here? Ah, good game of pixelated cards. My favorite. Yeah. The load of hell out of here. Oh, we're gonna start like uh the guys and blow stuff up. There was all this really expensive equipment that somebody had to make, put together, and now it's gone. What a shame. Oh, kill you as well. You could just be innocent. That's all I know. Elevator car. I always thought there was some secret in there, but I could not be too sure. Maybe James Bond is a psychopath. You just don't know. Could be. <laughs> you could be a psychopath. Oh, hang on, hang on. Need to, do, need to do It's like the Turing test with the spawn test. Will this chair explode if I shoot it? No. That's so disappointing. It does smoke a lot, though, for some reason. For a chair. Not that way. Locked. Wish I was locked right now. Uh, okay, so we take the elevator. That's locked. This is it here. Yeah. Perfect dark, yeah. It's the it's the um, spiritual successor to uh, to uh, Goldeneye. I I think I played Perfect Dark Zero on 360 back in the day, but again, it was just was not my jam. Oh. Watch like uh, like J, J May and uh, do a video on uh, Perfect Dark. It looks 
the original looks really, really good. I just don't have a Nintendo. At that time, I went up to yours and we played Nintendo. It just kind of was like, I was kind of put off Nintendo after that. I was like, hang on, the 64, the 64 isn't actually that good. This is our uh, Elliot Carver. There's a lot of, a lot of pictures in there. Oh, hang on, I need a moment. I need a, I need a moment just to observe. Look at. Okay, can we? No. Look at that. Can we just, can we just appreciate it for a second? I'm not gonna shoot her in the head or anything. But um. Oh no, we can zoom in. Like. Even for a PS1 model, like, would you look at that? Just pure... Incredible. I wonder what it would feel like if I ever saw you again. Uh. Now I know. That's for walking out on me. Well, I feel much better. Now what brings you here? Paris, someone in your husband's organization was involved in the sinking of the Devonshire and the murder of those British sailors. You don't know anything about that, do you? Elliot's company is involved in many things, James. I don't keep track of them all. Look, I'm sorry what happened between us, but I need your help. Well, I know there's a restricted lab. Ah, Mr. Bond. Won't you allow me to give you a tour of the facilities? Ah. <laughs> she's not even out of she's not even out of sight and they just do them dirty like that. Hang on. Instead of just killing them straight away, they just left them in an easily escapable room. So we're completely out. They left us uh, a book, I believe. Why would they do that? I'm a super spy. I don't need to read. Okay, I can't go into first person mode. But we do have these cufflinks here that actually say 007 of them. Bond gets uh, beaten up and he has to escape from there. I suppose having like too many bad guys in one room would just be like a no-no for the uh, for the PS1. We're actually back over here. Oh, hang on. Just those make it to me. And we literally just have to come back out the way. All there is, all there is to it. All there is to it. Break as many windows as we can. Oh, hang on. Uh oh. Windows everywhere. So it's hilarious, like Bond like turns off the signal when Elliot Carver's doing a speech and it just I mean, he gets so angry, like he just gets so so angry. Back out the way, back out once we came. It's not the most difficult of games, especially the first couple of levels, but uh, near enough to the end, it just becomes hard as balls. Uh, it took us less than seven minutes. So pressing engagement, get it? Because it's in a, it's it's pressing engagement, and it's uh, in a news press. Double O Seven. International techno-terrorist Henry Gupta was spotted entering the Tomorrow Printing Press with a large secure briefcase. We're almost certain the briefcase contains the missing GPS encoder that was used to track and manipulate our satellites. Yeah, you know those terrorists. Your mission is to go out and spot in daylight. They're, they're totally cover the encoder. Totally Use gone. Totally gone. Fingerprint scanner to defeat Carver's security systems. Do you know what else defeats security systems? High carbon assault weapons. Uh, 
I think this game gives us a little look into 007's life as well. That says 007 classified, but we're all getting to see what the mission briefing is. I think that's I think that's just top class. Who would have thought EA, the, the small little company, that good? This has a few nice little sneaky, sneaky bits in it. Uh, so here we are, more sneak, more snaking around. And a whole different suit as well, isn't this great? Now, this guy is just a worker here, but uh, let's, let's just end his miserable life. You're dead. There we go. Oh, 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 no, 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 back, back behind the floor, please, thank you. Oh, no, 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 I didn't want to do that. Boom, headshot, yes, yes, yes. C, 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 C. Now we can go in and start, uh, just like, literally mowing people down. Fantastic. Light armor, case of ammo. We're doing well. Look at this guy begging for mercy. Oh! Uh, oops. What was I expecting? Shouldn't have killed too many innocents. Shouldn't be killing them as those innocents, man, I swear. Bad bad vibes. Bad vibes. So let's just jump into that again. That was that was a that was a bad mistake on my part. Well, I've been playing for an hour. I'd like to get some suggestions on what to play next Monday. I have an idea, but because next Monday is actually my birthday, I'm going to do the new game Monday. But I'll stream for a couple hours, like, you know, obviously uh, have a few drinks, you know, just have, stay up chatting to people. Uh, anyone who is, you know, who's up and wants to jump into the chat, totally welcome. Totally, totally welcome. Oh, hang on. Gotcha. That was actually quite difficult to do. But, uh, yeah, no, next Monday, from, I'd say, 8 o'clock, probably 9 at the latest. I, I might go on 9 till 12. Just because I know, like, I'll probably do something with my family, and, you know, I have a few Zoom calls planned with some friends. Just to, just to you know, catch, shoot, catch up. Couldn't actually um, do anything for the last couple of months because this fucking lockdown. Yeah, this this is cool. This is actually a really really cool section. So all the bad guys decide to stand on top of the uh, fingers. Shoot them right in. As Bond says, he'll print anything these days. Put it up here. Let's just uh, just pop them at a headshot. In you go. In you go, Bucko. And basically rinse for me. Oh. Where is he? Yeah, got him. There's a nice little uh I haven't died yet actually, which is great. I just think that's disrespectful. He wasn't even standing over a printing press. But it reminds me of the level in Spider-Man, you know, you go to the printing press in the uh, Daily Bugle. You actually just jump in and just print like, loads of pictures of Spider-Man on, on the paper. Right, uh, let's back up a sec, lads. Oh. It's a nice little running gun. Uh, what's this? Aha! There's the briefcase we're after. Got the excess card. And back we go, I believe. Yeah, I, I need to get the controller sorted out with my um, so I can actually play with a controller on PS1. My wrist is killing me from using this. 
and it just wouldn't be it just wouldn't be a good time for me if I'm uh, if I'm not enjoying the streams. I'd like to be able to sit back a little bit, you know, sit back, have a laugh. I'm uh, not really posting too much on Facebook either. It's uh, they haven't made that too user friendly these days. Like I keep clicking onto it, and it's like basically like a streaming channel or a streaming uh, platform. <gasps> Wait. Okay, we have to scan. Who the fuck is that? I'm sorry. I'm sorry, but what? Lots of lovely, lovely medkits. And we won't murder him. Uh, what, what's this? Is this actually have the pictures of the... That's good. British... British sailors murdered. I think he has one in it called The Empire Will Strike Back. Like, uh... Unfortunately, that relates to the British Empire, so, uh... It's not all good, unfortunately. There's four med packs I use there. If I had more viewers on the channel, I'd definitely be able to blame someone for this. Ah, right. uh, he can't see me. Wait, 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 no. He looks just like me. Not anymore, he doesn't. Ah, that's a shame. That's a total shame. I'll tell you something about this game. This is one of the hardest ending levels I've ever played, ever. Like, it has a, a countdown timer. We have to run away and all that good stuff. Oh. Okay, okay, hang on, hang on. Got him, hold on. Yes. No, wait, yes. Ha, ha, ha. He's is dead. It's just your normal shoot out of the dress. Maybe they ran out of ideas and they were like just throwing stuff at them. Like Bond is throwing people into a machine that makes newspapers. If you cover first, right? We're not done here just yet, Boko. Right, so we went the wrong way. Hang on. Because I know there is a way we need to go first and scan something. We have to scan a thing in order to get to a room that has another thing. Maybe back this way? Maybe I'm thinking, overthinking it too much. I think we need to use this fingerprint scan? Maybe? No? We need to fingerprint scan something in this general area and then go back and then open the door with the with the, the thumb thing. Maybe we pass it here. Hello? Hello? No, these guys are happy enough now. Managed to clean up all the bodies as well, which is, which is good. I didn't get the points in the leave and start to become a hard goon. That career path has well and truly left me at this edge. Hang on. Yeah, get the encoder first, but... Okay. Let's just go back to the star level and um, and see where we go from there. Was it half nine already? Yeah, I'll play for another half hour or so. Uh, see how it picks up. Still early days, man. Still early days. Once this lockdown is over and going out, I'll be branding this place, this, this stream all over the place. Wrecking people's heads with it. But it's fun. It's good to do. I hope more people pick it up. Ah, there we go. That works. That totally works. Lock door. Like the only puzzle element in this game. a load of bullets or something right get out of here that's all we need to do like it is really they are really really small levels whoa whoa yikes yo 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 whoa, whoa. i 
I think there's a um, there's like a thin line between playing a game that people know and playing a game that nobody really like cares about or talks about. Like this game, who talks about? Oh man, Tower never dies. Like what a good James Bond game. But then when I was playing Apes Exodus the other night. I had like five, six people on at once, and it was like, whoa, I've never had this many people on the stream. So it's, uh, it's definitely, um, it's definitely something to think about when I'm doing further streams. But I like to just do games that I like to play. No point in doing a, uh, you know, like, a, 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 what's it called? Among Us or Call of Duty if there's nobody actually there to watch. Such a cool car. I mean, it's a bit boxy looking at these standards, but uh, hey, hey, what's she gonna do? Hotel Atlantic, Hamburg, right? Is this the hotel that Bond stays in? He actually hooks up through in Paris. Fair play, fair play. Intelligence is still piecing together Carver's they definitely involvement get his in the Devonshire anyway. incident. For now, you have the night off. I see you have an appointment to meet Paris Carver tonight at the Hotel Atlantic. Why don't you go there and relax for the evening? That means, you know, get it on. Oh yeah, no, like I I don't want to burn myself out with PS1 games. If I just throw it out like, oh here's Metal Gear Solid, here's Final Fantasy VII, here's you know like whatever like uh, whatever what's a popular game like Driver or something. Um, I don't want to, I don't want to burn that out and then play all those games and all of them after like the the Z list shiters. Seven o'clock in the evening. What a day. So this is kind of like right there's bad guys here we can just leave them alone we don't actually we don't have a gun but it's actually really like die hard on ps1 as well hello it's a receptionist as well it's like pure peaky blinders Why do we have to talk to the receptionist again? But these guys are all pretty armed to the teeth. Can I help you, Mr. Bond? I'm looking for Paris Carver. Have you seen her? Yes, I believe she's waiting in your suite. And your presence is required there as well. Oh, so badass to kill. Oh my god, it's like. It was frightening. Everybody was lightning. The guy in the back said everyone attack and it turned into a ballroom blitz. Hello, Barman. <laughs> Gonna have a Jaeger bomb. Oh, yeah. Right, let's get out of here. Hope we don't get a 200 euro. Extra charge and charge for all these bodies and leave the right place. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Cool. There's someone behind you. Just tap triangle, and then turn around. I think there's a boss in this fucking like just like three bosses in this whole game, and this is uh they're bullet they're absolute bullet sponges, absolute bullet sponges. Did I tell you how much of absolute bullet sponges they are? Because they're no fun. Right, back out to the car park. Sorry, but who the fuck are you? There's no reload button, of course. Oh, oh, oh. I'm a bit of a bullet sponge myself, but uh, some excuse. Right, can we go in here? Hello. Uh, don't know if I'm saying hello to, but okay. Yes, get that metal. Throw the switch. Some real like techno versions of the team song. The beloved team song. Paris. Oh yes. Like, 
favorite type of mission. Nothing in those boxes. It's a false economy, man. It's a false economy. Open, open, please. Oh, right, you like die hard energy. Right, we need all the bullets we can get here. Let's. Uh, we'll go this way and then up the lift. I love when he actually runs fluidly. And there's no choppiness or anything like that. It's just oh, oh, so good, so good. Give me more, please. Right here we go. Let's uh, the one thing the first person mode is jank. Like it's it's so slow. It's slower than I was in maths class in school. Like that's pretty fucking slow. And, and the one thing I never what are these lasers doing, right? There's no way to turn them off. I've never, I've never ever found a way to turn the lasers off. So that might be something I'll try today. These doors are all closed. Ah, who does? Your character model looks exactly like me. Ah, ah Mr. Bond. It's not nice to keep a lady waiting. Where is Paris? Let's talk about whether Red Encoder is first, shall we? That's why Rob didn't last. Oh, no, 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 that's just... Right, hang on, hang on. Right, so absolutely both of them. Can I just, like, headshot? Oh. No, 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 no. I remember, I remember his thing. He has, like, gas bombs. And these flying daggers as well, what the hell is it? So in the movie, he's this, uh, this doctor, this torture doctor, who, uh, you know, specializes in torture people. And uh, Bond obviously gets the upper hand, but he does get, get him to shock himself with his, with his phone. Can't go over there. Let's see what's right here. up there as well. What? Follows. I've never really... Oh, there's the gas bombs. Here's Paris. Uh, we'll, we'll keep her waiting a little bit longer. It's only 7 in the evening. Like, we'll let the first, first uh, sink in a bit more. Anything in this way, no? Nah. I will go somewhere for what we, what we missing. Hello. Are you alright, Paris? I think so. We need to get out of here. Come on, follow me. What? That's so annoying. Right, so we have to bring her out with us. That's so annoying. She dies. The doctor guy kills her in the movie. So why is she allowed to live? It's a joke. Alright, let's go him down. Yes, it was not a game that was played before, of course. I'm telling you, the soundtrack of this kicks ass. So good, just like so many cool like renditions of the Bond team. It's like kind of techno kind of words. Uh, let's go this way. I'm just curious about something. Yeah, what the? F so, yeah, we have to set up these high-powered lasers in this uh, in this hotel. Hope you don't mind. Even if she's wearing the same clothes as the night before. 
the day before. No, it's night before. Uh, no, we'll, we'll, we don't mess with that. Oh, sorry, sorry. Forgot about him. Come on, hop in the red, let's go. I'm a baritone with a voice that's so low. I'll make your speed this low. Hop in there, hop in there, what do you call it? Hop in, hop in the whip. I'm so down. I'm so, I'm so, you know, west side, west side till I die. What is it? Yeah. I think we'll do one more level, we'll call it a night then. Like, I mean, it's what, like, nearly an hour and a half? I'm basically trying to build up my time on, on Twitch, um, to become an affiliate so I can actually start getting paid for So cool. But... They didn't include the part where he like, throws a car off the roof. Shaft. Oh boy, the Swiss Alps. Right, this level doesn't really make much sense because it's nothing to do with the actual movie. Intelligence has found the headquarters of Henry Gupta, a techno-terrorist now working for Elliot Carver. It's located in the foothills of the Swiss Alps. A convoy of terrorist cars and trucks is heading to his Alpine hideout for an important meeting. You must destroy this convoy. Q is waiting with your transportation just beyond oh, the yes. first barricade. Try to keep him out of the crossfire. Well, it's hard to do that now because... He's, he's, he's dead. He died. Let's see, what was his name again? Q actor. Now it brought me up to Star Trek. I don't want. I mean, Desmond Le Llewellyn. Yeah, so many, so many cues. Right, this is a whole different level than what we're used to. Uh, but Desmond Llewellyn, he was Q from like the start. Died in 1999. Just uh, around the time the world's not looking at. He'd be 116 years of age if he was still alive today. Imagine that, 116. So this is like a nighttime level. I hope you can actually see that okay, but um, we have an infrared scope, which was really cool. So we're gonna light up these. Just basically scan for bad guys. Um, not a great draw distance now to be fair, but they look what we're, look what we're like working with. Okay, okay let's just do some. Ah, oh, there's so much facing me, I don't see them. Oh, the scope is actually kind of broken up. I can hear bullets, but I can't see bullets. Oh, shit. Right. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I see you now. I'll, I'll kill you in a second. That's going to be my uh, James Bond movie. Ah, I'll, I'll kill you in a second. Double those seven. Double O. Okay. Joe, you know I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna. I'm not gonna waste time here, lads. Ah. Nice like, little cachet of bullets as well. Thank you so much. That was so sweet of him. Okay. And let's. I see him behind that tree. I say they. Let's take care of the bad guys. I can see. Joking. Give me such a cool weapon like this and it's useless. There we go. Good, 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 good stuff, good stuff. There's some uh, kind of golden eye ish sounds in the background of this. And then one more. 
I see him. Yeah, I killed the red. That'll do a trick. So we're meeting up with our boy Q. He is going to give us our car. Oh shit. Okay, hang on. So even Solid Snake didn't have an infrared scope attached to his sniper. Ah, fuck. It's Graham, just uh, back it up the road. There he is down there, I should practically see him. Can Bond please just move where I want him to? Thank you. Thank you very much. Here's your new BMW 750. After that incident in Hamburg, I had to make a few refinements. She now has improved machine guns, heat-seeking rockets, and stronger armor. I think we should get along quite well. Do try and bring her back in one piece this time. Not Don't happen. I always? Oh, grow up, 007. <laughs> I just love the charm of that. I, I, I swear to God, it gets me every time. I'm not that way with like most films, but with Bond, it's just... The charm, lads. I cannot get over it. Right, so this is the only driving section in the game. So there's a terrorist convoy. Oh, oh, hang on a second, boys. Oh, that. Nah, oh, right, I can't drive. Hang on, hang on. Did you hear that? That's too loud. Not too loud. Not too loud. I had that. I had that. I had that. That's incredible. That's a good mission though. That was uh that was a very, very, very enjoyable mission. Let me just bring the volume down a little bit. 
Did you enjoy that though? Was that a good time? Was that a very, very fun time for all of us? Uh, let me just pop a save saying and maybe we'll... Do you know what I'll do? If I ever get to a point where there's loads of games where I haven't finished, we'll just do one stream where we go in to like... Harry Potter, boom, finish it. James Bond, boom, finish it. Any games that I just have to kind of clear up, we'll go in and just finish them. Um, but I think that is going to be me for tonight. Uh, let's put a save state in. Let us... Uh... Good night, James. Thank you for joining us. So, I hope you all have fun tonight. That was a that was a good laugh. I really, really enjoyed that game, and it was good to it was good to return to it again. Um, it was obviously it seemed like such a bigger game when I was like, you know, yay high. Uh, still fun to this day. Um, bit janky in places. Controls aren't amazingly fantastic, but it still holds up really well. And I think um, while I'm here. I also do have, uh, where did I put it? Where did I put it? Come on, help me. 007, The World Is Not Enough, which is also a really, really, really fun Bond game. Um, so we might have a look into that next time. But uh, I'll be back on Wednesday for another Long Play Wednesday. If you have any suggestions of games I should check out, please let me know. Uh, but until then, look after yourselves. I will see you on Wednesday. And until then, Slán August Bannacht. I'll see you later.